Not just mosquitoes with West Nile making people sick in Ohio. There are new concerns about ticks carrying Lyme disease. Joining me is Jeremy Hessel. He's the director of environmental health for Hamilton County. Jeremy, thanks for coming in. We really appreciate you doing so. When we talk about Lyme disease. I've always thought of Lyme disease as something happening like in the big deep woods in you know Maryland, Vermont, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Not here so much. Right. Correct. And. It's been predominantly a, a tick, well, let me, let me rephrase this, the, the black-legged tick, the Which deer tick. Which is what tick, carries the specific thing, right? Correct. It's been predominantly in those areas that you speak of in the northeast, uh, some along the eastern seaboard, but now it's starting to spread into the Midwest, and we've been seeing um, a resurgence or a surgence of the black-legged tick in Ohio in the past five to six years. When you say an ups a resurgence or an, an uptick, no pun intended, are you finding them on animals, on people, on foliage? What, where are you finding this? Um, the black-legged ticks are mostly a, a tick that hangs out in the forested areas or underbrush type of areas. Um, when the Ohio Department of Health does surveillance, um, they usually do it on uh, deer that have been harvested. Sure. And they're seeing a lot of black-legged ticks showing up on those animals. Okay, so that, that's, a, that's what they look like. They are delightful mm -hmm. looking, I must say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, something I don't want, and that's how teeny tiny they are. Oh, my goodness. So it makes me itch. I'm <laughs> literally scratching my neck as we talk about it. <laughs> what does it mean for us? Let's say a tick gets on us. Mm -hmm. What should we be looking for? Um, one of the things you want to do is to ensure that you're protecting yourself with any kind of long sleeve, long pants, um, insect repellents. Is this from, when we go into the woods? Correct. Or even, you know, if you're, if you're going to be in the weedy areas at a park or something of that in nature. Your garden? Um, yes, your garden. What they do is they hang out on those weeds and those leaves and things, and they look for you to pass by when your pants or something like that brushes up against them. They grab on. Um, but when you take a shower, um, you want to make sure you do a tick check on yourself. Look in areas like underneath your legs, um, around your spots. belt lines. Yes, correct. And look for ticks. And if you see them, remove them um, well, properly. You, does it look like just a little tiny black spot on you? Um, usually, bump? those ticks, what they'll do is they'll insert their mouth parts yes. so they don't go under the skin. Mm. And what you want to do is you make sure you pull the tick out straight up and down. The way it went in is the way it comes out. Correct. And to get the mouth parts out um, as much as you can. Now, there are some old wives' tales to use a flame or a, a match, Vaseline, or petroleum jelly, but you really want to take a pair of tweezers and pull it straight out of your skin. Okay, so let's say that we do get a tick. How, what do we look for as far as Lyme disease? Uh, what are the symptoms? Mm -hmm. Who is at risk? Yeah, it, it, everybody's at risk, but what we want to look for is within three to approximately two weeks from when you get a tick on you, you want to look for a uh, a bite or a, a, a form of a, a bite that shows up. It's like a um, bullseye shaped mm -hmm. on your skin. Or you're going like this, like this yeah, big? Yeah, it can get pretty big on there. Uh -huh. uh, some of them might be even smaller. Some people don't even develop it. Are there any symptoms of the disease? Yes, those symptoms can develop and what it can be is anything from a headache, fever, fatigue, uh, joint pain um, in the long run things can develop with your nervous system, your heart, and also arthritis in those joints if so it's not treated. You do not want this to linger? No, you don't. If right. you see that pattern, you definitely want to seek uh, uh, help from your physician. All right, Jeremy, we appreciate you coming by, giving us a ton of information here and bringing that joyful video of ticks <laughs> with you. We appreciate it very much, and hopefully no one will have this issue in, in the short run or the long run. Thanks a bunch. All right, thank you. We'll be right back, folks.